welcome back. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today, we got another Matt Marathon. And you know when I say Matt that we're going to experience some weird and different music. Most of the stuff that Matt chooses is very um, indie and underground, and I love it. So it's always I'm always up for a surprise with Matt's marathon. So um, I'm going to read you off the titles. Um, uh, uh, thank you so much, Matt, for making this happen, for all your marathons that you've given this channel, for, you know, um, picking out just like different stuff, you know, um, different stuff from the 90s, from the 80s, you know, you get very creative and I really appreciate it. And um, thank you so much for sponsoring this marathon. So here we go. And um, so if we're going to go off, we're going to start it off with Moshiba or Morshiba, sorry. Um, the Sea, this is from the album Big Calm 1998. That's what I said, you know, it starts with 90s. And then Big Chief, No Free Love on the Street, Sonica's Theme. And this is from Mac Avenue Skull Game 1993. We're going to go into uh, Blonde Redhead in particular from the melody of Certain Damaged Lemons. I love the randomness of these titles. 2000. Then we're going to go into um, Stereo Lab. Uh, French Disco, Refried Ectoplasm. Um, let's see, this is from 1995. And last one is My Bloody Valentine, Only Shallow uh, from Loveless. This is from 1991. So you see... The Matt kept it all in the 90s and early 2000s. So I love this. It's just, it gives it a different touch uh, to the channel because most of the stuff obviously is from the 70s and 80s and even the stuff that I put out there is quite old. So um, it's always nice to have some new stuff on the channel. Thank you, Matt, for choosing these songs. And uh, so let's go. I'm going to dive into it completely blind. I think I've heard my bloody Valentine uh, mentioned, but I, I wouldn't remember the music. But let's go with the C and let's hit it off. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go.
cool breeze flows behind the wasp. Some get stung, it's worth the cost. I'd love to stay. The city calls me home. More has more spots and lies on the This was great. I can't even, I don't even know what to compare this to, but I'd, it just sounded very well orchestrated, beautiful blues guitar, nice beat, very nice um, singing. It reminded me, I don't know, man, uh, like j definitely had its 90s vibe, um, but uh, I don't even know what I could, it sounded so lounge, like loungy maybe acid -y, acid jazzy you know cafe del mar kind of stuff very cool very very cool i loved it um maybe like moby you know moby or i don't know but really good thank you thank you for this um more shiba i'm definitely gonna keep my eyes peeled uh for that uh or ears <laughs> um but yeah really cool so we're going to move on with Big Chief. Um, uh, and uh, let's see. This is a little bit later. This was 95. 98, okay. And this is nine, oh, 2000, okay. And by the way, uh, Matt, I just wanted to let you know there's just been um, uh, a show released, a 90s show. Uh, you know that 70s show? Well, the same guys who made that show made the 90s show um so that's i guess you know um maybe um since i'm sure you're a 90s uh kid so yeah like if you want to watch it i just like you know i just saw this on my phone all right so uh let's um continue with big chief here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
Just the drive, like the doom, doo doom, doo doom, doo doom, doo doom, doo doom, like these two chords in the back from the beginning, and then I love the voice, I love the beat. It's just very good stuff, man. I don't know where you get all these bands from. I mean, God, man, thank you, Big Chief. Another hit, you know, another one that I just like, you know, and it doesn't remind me of anything that's what's so cool it doesn't ring a bell at all it's just brand new and it's already 22 years old but it's, it sounds fresh you know love it Don't look down. cool just very nice aggressive nice score like great guitars great delay just awesome man really 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 well played i love it um big chief oh i'm still so obsessed with um what is it called big um oh my god the song bam 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 I don't know if you, if, if Matt was the one that uh, requested that, but I'm obsessed with that song. Um, Ghosts, oh my God, it's so cool. All right, um, we're going to go ahead and now Blonde Redhead. I just love these names and this is 2000. No, what was this that I just played? I messed up. So 93, I said 2000, I'm sorry. 93, now we're going to do 2000 track. Um, it sounded a little bit grungy there, a little bit, but not too much. It was not the typical grunge vibe that, that you get from, from that particular era. Okay, Blonde Redhead, here we go.
sounds obviously very post rock it's very yeah it's very i guess it's like very post rock it's really um i don't know it's just a lot of it, it sounds like a train really cool more like percussive and I love the singing. It's very original. This is what I like about music when it comes, um, you know, like there's, you can't really hear any influences. It's just like, I'm just going to lay down my stuff. You know, this is what I'm composing and this is who I am. And this is my music. And, and it, I like that because it's just weird. It's, um, it's not as mainstream it's just very different it's, i i don't even know what genre that's why i say post uh, or indie because um that's where you get a lot of interesting stuff um in music so um i like that because it's not really there's not too many rules to follow like it's like not oh you have to like resolve here and you have to you know there has to be like there has to be an intro and then a verse and then it has to be like a solo and you know a bridge and like sometimes it's cool to break all those rules and just lay down a track and you know that's what i like so this is what i get with this music a little bit it's more independent whatever it may be it's music you know really cool <laughs>
Very special. I mean... I mean, it's just three chords, but you don't... Sometimes you don't even need more. I mean, there's songs that have like 16 chords and stuff. Especially like in Jazz Fusion. But uh, this is... You know, you can create a cool song and memorable with just three chords. And this like... Da, 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 da. Like really nice arpeggios, man. So really cool. Again, like I said, um, it's it's sometimes cool to just like, like, go out of the norm and you know get a little bit adventurous, and it's very very interesting what comes out. All right. Stereo Stereo Lab is next. Uh, French disco. Let's see if it's if it has a disco vibe. This is from uh, Refried Ectoplasm, nineteen ninety five. Sounds a little like from the Ghostbusters. So let's go. trippy very cool i didn't even pause oh shit um uh, so yeah so this it was very good i mean i don't know what kind of music it, i guess it's again you know just post post rock it's <laughs> 
I don't know. It's like just, it was very good. I, I don't dislike it at all. Um, I would be totally honest, <laughs> but I've, I've done some ones for Matt where I'm like, no, no, you know, but, um, it's not bad, you know, not at all. Um, I mean, I was literally so engaged that I didn't even stop that. I didn't even pause. Um, so that's a good thing, I guess, you know, okay. Now, uh, we're going to finish it off for Matt with my bloody Valentine only shallow from Loveless, and this is again from 91, okay, great year, great year, and um, let's go, here we go. <laughs> So this definitely reminds me of more like grunge, early Smashing Pumpkins, just the voice, you know, it gives it away. It's obviously influenced, maybe not, maybe Smashing Pumpkins came out later, but it, it just has that vibe, Nirvana, you know, um, just like, you know, you know, just like pound on those strings. Really cool. I like it. I do like it. Let's go back.
That's so cool. Yeah, it's like, I love how 90s music was basically conceived by kids born in the 70s. And it was just like, yeah, it was more like, like, if you listen to grunge, it's a, it has a lot of resemblance with just classic rock, but more without like the structure of classic rock, you know, like no prog. Uh, no, it's basically like solos were like, Hey, you want to play a guitar solo? Um, no, not in this band. We don't play guitar solos. It was more about creating layers and, really distorted riffs and but not even metal it was just more like i mean look the tone i don't know if this was a girl or a guy but all the singers were female in this marathon except i don't know about my bloody valentine but i just love that it was just like let's just create a sound you know let's just create a style and i like that about grunge and that it was just more like a different type of music, you know, a different movement and not even bands like Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses was like a rock band in the 90s, right? And they had Slash and the solos and it was piano and and it was a rock band. But this grunge was more like, yeah, there's no rules and we're going to have, you know, short hair and wore baseball hats and shorts and... You know, it was not about the glam and the the hair, and it was such a different time. And so it's I and I do appreciate that. You know, I do appreciate the grunge for what it was and and the impact it has. And it's still great music, and um, and uh, yeah. And I I I wish I it grunge would have stayed instead of like the the shit that we have to listen to today i mean just the mainstream there's some good musicians out there there's some great music re being recorded every day and every year we get some but it's all the musicians that we already had but new musicians there's a very few like you know maybe um what's his name um oh, i love that guy uh Mayer, John Mayer is an example of great music being released today. And, you know, there's a, there's a few, there's a few good, I mean, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot uh, of good artists still out there. But, like, unfortunately, the mainstream, what's being played on the radio is all shit. Like, sorry, but it's true. And, uh, I mean, you guys know this way more than I do. I don't... I mean, I don't even listen to the radio. I, and if I listen to the radio, it's Kuvo Jazz or Prog Rock or some stuff from the 70s or 80s. But never, like, I can't stand the new music. It's just so bad. There's a few good things coming out, you know. But unfortunately, like, literally what sells nowadays is all garbage. But, well, we all know that. And it's just like, you know, it's because... The record companies and the pro producers, they all have lost, like, taste or, or sense of reality. And then if somebody comes up with something that sounds a bit like Rush or, you know, then they get, like, okay, no, your music is sounds too old. It's just a shame. But, well, this was great. Thank you, Matt, for, you know, for giving us a, a little bit of different stuff um, compared to what we usually, you know, listen to here on the channel. I think this is great. It's, uh, this was a great example of 90s music and after. And um, I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I hope everybody had fun. Let us know in the comment section what you think about this. And uh, thank you, Matt, again for your marathon. I'm going to work on the other one as soon as I can. I hope my voice goes back to normal. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.